Alright guys, so this is my updated uh, Twixter slash timer map tutorial. Um, I'm going to be showing one new method and then an updated version on my old Twixter tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions or need any plugins, uh, feel free to comment them and or join my Discord server. It will probably be in the pinned comment and you can or you can add me. My user should be on screen right now. So let's just get into it. So basically, you want to, in anime clips, there's things called dead frames and dead frames are basically when the there's like the same frame more than once as you can see between these two right here these this would be considered a dead frame pretty much so twixter is basically like a plugin that helps that like it basically uses interpolation which is having two values and it predicts what's ha what happens in the middle of them pretty much so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all the dead frames out so to cut dead frames out you just go frame by frame Anytime you see a movement of your main object or main subject or whatever you're trying to time remap, you want to cut. So obviously you see changes and we can just, you know, we can leave that one. We basically just go frame by frame and cut it just like that. So you basically every single time you see a new frame, cut. And if you don't see a new frame, don't cut pretty much. So now you want to select the bottom frame and hold shift on your keyboard and then click the top one, drag them all to the left. And then you want to right click and go to keyframe assistant and put sequence layers and uh, pre comp it with control shift C and then boom, once you've pre comped it, uh, there's basically two methods we can use now um, in order to time remap. So we can either use interpolation or we can use Twixter. First, I'm gonna showcase Twixter just so you guys, um, uh, just because that one's a little less, like it's easier to explain pretty much. So you basically just wanna copy all my settings. This input frame rate, you wanna change this to whatever FPS you edit in. In my case, I edit in 18 FPS, so I'm changing my to 18. You can use DNN model one or precise optical flow. DNN does work better, but I think it do, it does take like a bit of a bit a little toll on your device, meaning like it takes longer to load sometimes. Image prep, you want to go to contrast slash edge enhance, and then for time remap mode, you want to go to frame number, frame interpolation, motion weight blended, warping, inverse with smart blend, main background settings. Um, you want to change this to a hundred. And you can change this back to DNN. Okay, so pretty much you want to click into your pre-comp and see how many frame layers you have. And these are your frames because they're obviously only one frame long. So they're pretty much all your frames. So it doesn't matter. So since we have 17, when we scroll down, we have 17. We want to subtract one from whatever we have in our pre-comp. So we're going to, I just pressed U on my pre-comp so I can see my keyframes. And I'm going to key from the frame number at zero. And we're going to move this one over here and make the keyframe at 16. And then what we can do is basically graph it, uh, graph it however you want. Doesn't really matter how you graph it. Uh, I like it. I mean, obviously it does matter, but like, um, depending on what you want, you can graph graph it differently. So there's Twixter. This is how it should look. And now I'm going to showcase how you can do it with interpolating with uu 2 x Pro now. So basically what you can do is you can control copy this, paste it, and then in our case we're just going to delete the Twixter. So now that we have this clip all time remapped and everything, we can just, or I mean all like dead frames are gone, cut them out. We can just hit interpolate. And basically what interpolating does in this case for uo 2 x Pro, it basically multiplies how many frames you have uh, by whatever, how many, however many you select. So you can go for the most times 16. I just find it a little bit like redundant to go that high. You can also do eight, eight also works, but I'd like to do four because it's fast and it usually gives me enough. So as you can see, you can see how long the clip got alone just from that. And you can see it is a little warpy, but every frame is movement pretty much and that and that's pretty much what you want so now what we can do is we can you know we could just um, trim it to this 
and it's kind of up to you what you want to use if you're more comfortable with using twixer you can use that and if you want to use uh, time remapping on an actual clip i'll show you how to do that right now but basically what you do is hold Control alt t on your clip and you want to drag your last keyframe to the end right here and for frame bl frame blending you want to make sure it's toggled under this like a little icon and then you can pretty much like graph it the same way um as you graph your twixer so obviously this isn't like the best best results it's kind of hard to tell the difference but in in this clip at least it's up to you you can also use once you interpolate you can use twixter too uh, i find that just both methods work in general and um yeah so that's basically how you do it and i'll show you guys like i'm gonna explain to you how you can also sync up like your clips to a beat so i have like these two clips these are the ones that i already time remapped and everything and this is the um audio i have right so i'm just gonna i'll play the audio so basically you can see obviously this clip is like on beat so pretty much what i had what i did was i made like a sharp looking graph where the beat drops so then when the beat drops it like follow like the clip speeds up and follows this like motion um as for the graph for this one it doesn't really like really matter because it's kind of a build-up but this is just kind of the graph i use and um yeah so basically you just want to find your beat and you make a graph on it uh or like you graph like your keyframes you make it like a graph similar to this on a beat and that's like pretty much it that's how you sync your clips to a beat um i think that's about it for my uh tutorial if you guys have any questions you know feel free to comment them uh join the server add me you know whatever and uh, yeah, 